subscribe ecofan for more educational videos welcome dear learners today we are going to discuss about the desertification in this video we will discuss about the general definition of desertification what are the reasons of desertification and what are the measures by which the desertification can be reduced or stopped desertification is a process of turning the product to land into a desert when once product to areas become progressively arid this is known as desertification a kind of land degradation in dry lands caused by loss of biological production owing to natural processes or influenced by human activities it is gradual expansion of dry regions due to variable like climate change and excessive soil extraction brought on by human activities that we will discuss in detail in our later slides deserts have formed naturally throughout the earth history recently numerous scientific studies have focused on the possible effects of human activities poor land management deforestation and climate change on desertification a definition of desertification should recognize that it is a land degradation process that involves a continuum of change from slight to very severe degradation of the plant and soil resource and is due to human activities desertification is also situation on the desert expansion that means a desert is continuously expanding to surrounding area desertification sim uh, is simply the process that results in degradation of environment and ecosystem for example uh, low ground water levels salination of the top soil and water low vegetation cover soil erosion all these processes would increase the total area of desert replacing the vegetation the desertification term was first used by french botanists aubreville in 1949 to refer the to the transformation of productive agriculture land into desert like condition desertification term has since been widely used as human started to sense the scope of the problem desert uh, lands were increasing as human population along with flood food demand increased this of course was much more noticed and significant in arid and semi arid lands where food and water resources are scarce thus any minimal change in the fragile ecosystem can result uh, a disaster and desertification is one of the world's most alarming processes of environmental degradation from most dry land uh, developers life is hard and the future often uh, precarious they live on the ecological economic and social margins it is essential that we do not neglect uh, them and or the fragile habitats on which they depend these were the words by kofi annan the former un secretary general uh, in uh, international year of desert and desertification 2006 so there are some facts about the dry lands uh, which later on gets converted into the deserts the dry land cover more than 40% of the earth's surface there are nearly 2 million dry land uh, dwellers means the population living into in the dry lands it affects one third of the earth's surface and over a billion of population so it, this problem is very huge more than 110 countries particularly in africa asia and latin america have dry lands that are potentially threatened by desertification and 24 billion tons of fertile soil disappear annually each year desertification and drought cause an estimate of 42 billion dollar loss in agriculture production and the middle east 
holds up to 93 percent of the dry lands while two-third uh, of the african continent is desert or dry land these were some facts of the dry lands and now we will uh, move towards what are the major deserts and uh, where is their location and the area first one is antarctic desert it is located in antarctica and is uh, the largest desert basically the cold desert covered with the snow then arctic then sahara desert mostly african countries like algeria chad egypt libya mali morocco then arabian desert is iraq jordan kuwait oman qatar saudi arabia gobi desert in china and mongolia kalahari desert then uh, patagonian desert great victoria desert syrian desert these are the major deserts in the world so now we discuss about the what are the causes of desertification here in the picture it is illustrated there there are two main causes of the desertification first one is human factors second one is the climate change so human factors is when the human population increase plus when there is poverty or the poor population is more this uh, high population particularly of the herbivores when they go for the ore grazing slowly this uh, the des uh, or vegetation is uh, reduced because there is less um, i mean the, the grazing is more and the vegetation is, is less and there is uh, gradually more soil loss because of the wind erosion or water erosion this leads to the desertification the second point is the poor and poverty because of the uh, very faulty land management system uh, poor people they go for the desertification for uh, the firewood or there are certain practices like slash and burn or shifting cultivation these all practices lead uh, the vegetation to be converted into the desert and they increase the uh, extent of the deserts and then another problem is overcropping this is a problem when we go for overcropping the soil fertility is reduced and gradually there is no vegetation and then the area is converted into the desert and the most important uh, the improper inappropriate irrigation because the 70 to 80 percent of the irrigation water is uh, 70 to 80 percent of the fresh water is used in the irrigation so this water is mainly drawn either from the surface water or from the groundwater so the groundwater or the surface water may depend depending upon the location have high salt content and slowly it gets accumulated on the soil surface and leads to the production of wasteland or dry uh, or dry land where no crops uh, could be grown because of the high salt content so all these factors they reduce the soil fertility they uh, reduce the increase soil degradation and soil aridity another factor is the climate change as we know uh, the climate change is the major factor nowadays which impacts each and every sector of the world and in uh, agriculture or uh, if we go for any kind of ecosystem when there is a global warming temperatures are increasing there are receding water bodies uh, receding groundwater levels the certainly this convert uh, uh, a vegetation land into the desert and one another impact of the climate change is the erratic or reduced kind of rainfall or precipitation this in long term also reduces uh, the moisture of the soil and uh, that soil can be converted or that can be shifted from one place to another place either uh, from the wind erosion because uh, there is no vegetation there is no mulch there is no cover on the soil so this soil can be all uh, very vulnerable to the winds that uh, blow from one place to another place so the human causes are overgrazing farming uh, average land uh, destruction of plants dry land region in, uh, in inappropriate irrigation increased population poverty policy 
so human population as we have discussed at deforestation there is more demand for the timber or land so they we go for the crop excessive cropping or building cutting down the trees extensively and uh, demand for the crops increase when the population increase so there is more increase uh, in, in demand in the crops like rice crops in uh, mediumly developed countries uh, increase in shift cultivation soil fertility reduced and uh, um, suddenly these are the major impacts uh, because of the human uh, population on the soil fertility so another problem is overgrazing in least less or less developed countries have large international debits the cheap labors and extensive land or uh, low uh, least less developed countries use used by uh, medium developed countries in order to pay the debits extensive uh, in uh, suitable grazing like cattle again and another uh, problem is the climate change in which the carbon dioxide increase increase in the temperature melting of the ice flooding in the coastal areas uh, less rainfall more drought uh, vegetation die out so these are the all problems because of the climate change and uh, less precipitation is one of the main reason of the climate change so what is the status of desertification in india so right now uh, the data from 2022 96 uh, million hectares or close to 29 percent of the india's geographical areas is under degradation according to government's data recently uh, presented to united nation convention to combat desertification india lost 31 percent or 5.65 million hectares of grassland in a decade and around 23.95 percent of desertification or land degradation is continued or contributed in nine states like rajasthan maharashtra gujarat jammu and kashmir karnataka jharkhand odisha madhya pradesh and telangana and uh, jharkhand rajasthan delhi and gujarat goa have more than 50 percent of their area under desertification or land degradation here on the left you can see the land degradation map of india where this uh, yellow for example uh, is showing the extensive water erosion in this um, region particularly in indo gangetic belt or in uh, this uh, region of rajasthan or uh, more the main problem is the extensive water erosion then barren or rocket uh, stationary waste and then acid soils here we can see so there are multiple reasons uh, that uh, the uh, soil is degraded like in rajasthan we can see the wind erosion is the main reason of the soil degradation here in Jammu and Kashmir or Ladakh, we can see the snow covered or glacial areas are more. So these are the multiple reasons of the soil uh, degradation or desertification. So now what are the effects of the desertification? So the desertification impacts all the four spheres of the ecosystem like atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and biosphere. So atmosphere is the local climate, it changes less precipitation, droughts are more, macroclimate or global warming, it all dis disturbs the system or atmospheric uh, changes are there. In a hydrosphere, water cycle is broke, uh, bro broken down. In lithosphere, less arable soil is available or salination is more. Land intensify or soil, soil erosion is more. Biosphere extinction or plant and uh, animals, then biodiversity is reduced. All these reasons, they upset the balance of an ecosystem because an ecosystem is an, uh, basically the interaction of between plants and animals with the physical environment so that there is a uh, so there is a homeostatic state between the physical and biological um, uh, things in an ecosystem but when there are the changes in the climate in the water in uh, soil or the biodiversity itself suddenly loss of the biodiversity can uh, make the ecosystem very weak so at the end the uh, forest could be converted into the desert there will be loss of soil there will be loss of plants and animals
So what are the effects on the atmosphere? Like first we will discuss about at micro level in which the rainfall uh, is reduced, temperature increases, day temperature increase and night temperature are reduced, increase in evapor transpiration and reflection and there is the increase in diurnal range of temperature like the nights are very cold and days are very hot. Increase in wind speed and uh, this is because there is no vegetation or no shelter and decrease in relative humidity. So at the mi macro level there uh, is two uh, effects. First one is the global warming because of increasing the temperatures. Then another uh, impact is the sandstorms which uh, increases the extension of the deserts. Next uh, is the effect on the lithosphere where first one is loss of arable land because the soil texture changes to the sandy, the cohesive power. Uh, for example, the water retention capacity of the soil is reduced and uh, which leads to soil not suitable for the vegetation. And the next one is the intensification of the soil erosion uh, which increases because of deforestation because there are no roots that can bind the soil and that increases the soil erosion and saltation. Next one is the impacts on the hydrosphere uh, in which the water cycle breaks down, reduced in precipitation, increase in evaporation because of no shelter, reverse and wells get dried up. On biosphere, the lower the biodiversity because when there is reduced soil fertility there is no vegetation and certainly it can reduce the biodiversity and also uneven distribution of the forests and deforestation scattered vegetation or uh, vegetation is shorter or there are few species uh, like the cactus species or there is the extension of uh, the other species so now how can we control the desertification first one is the control the population growth or natural increase by using family planning in order to decrease the land use capacity next one is the number of grazing and the rate of cultivation should not uh, over the carrying capacity of the land uh, then improve farming grazing methods in order to reduce soil erosion and salination then suitable timing and amount to carry out irrigation plant the halophyte which can adapt salty and droughted soils uh, or there should be sufficient insufficient fallow periods so next one is legislation by which we can control the desertification ban uh, the deforestation and overgrazing in order to balance the ecosystem of the desert then afforestation that is plant the windbreak trees drought resistant plants and then uh, lastly build the reservoirs or canals that can hold the large amount of water they can carry from one place to another place this was all about the desertification mm -hmm.